So, in this last Java video, we're going to go over if-else and operators. Often in programming, you're going to need to use conditional statements to run a particular bit of code only if something is true or false. And to do that, you're going to need if and else. I'll show you how that works. So, the if statement is the most basic of all control flow statements. It tells your program to execute a certain section of code only if a particular test evaluates to true. For example, let's create two variables. I guess we can use the ones they provided for us. And you guys probably all know what this is. This just tests if x is less than y. And while we're here, let's go over all the other operators like that. There's less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, and equal to. Now it's important to note that when you're testing for equality and not assigning a variable, you have to use the double equal sign. Otherwise your program won't work. So let's go back here, test if x is less than y, and then what we're going to do if it is. So what we're doing here, the program is going to check if the variable x is less than the variable y, and if it is, it's going to print out x is less than y. And you'll see it is. But what if this evaluated to false? What if it wasn't true? Let's see what happens. As you can see, nothing happens. This is where the else statement comes in. The else statement is used to execute actions if an if statement evaluates to false. As you can see, x is not less than y was printed out. Now, this is a basic control flow structure, but sometimes you're going to have to test for multiple true statements, not just one. And you'll do that like this, using an else if statement. And then you're always going to want to have an else to test for all of your possible scenarios. So we're going to want to go ahead and set x and y to the same value so that we can see if how our, if else, our else if statement works. Oops, we got a little semicolon there. As you can see, it printed out x is equal to y. We should be using all of these in our final project, and I can't wait to get started.